guys, it's your girl Can Nightmare Gamer here, and today we are going to be continuing DDLC. Yes, we're on to. I don't know what happened. Things got really freaking creepy last time. So yeah. All right, I guess we're doing poems again. Shoot, nimble. Yep. All right. Enemu. Kande. Ah, uh, cute! Sucks. Uh, joy! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What? Music? Yep. Valen? No, no, that seems more rum. Lipstick, there we go. I knew there was something off. Parfait. Chocolate. I don't want to take chances, just in case. Jump. Explode. No! How? How is that for you? No, no, no. No, no. No, Rose is a little too romantic. Silly. Yeah, that's... No. Good, good. Uh... Cheeks? Okay, good. Beep. Uh, uh, loud. Pink. Kitty. Skirt. Uh, lollipop. Oh, I should not be playing this at like 1 a.m. This is, this is weird. Oh, God, I actually feel so uneasy after last time. Oh. Yeah, after this up, uh, episode, I am... Not doing one at this time again. This is this is this is creeping me out. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting again. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Yeah, that's 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 the scene I usually see. What, 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 welcome back. No, 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 I'm here. Ah, hi. Yuri boob? A boob. I'm not sure if it's me or your if it's Yuri's expression. <laughs> but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, there you are! Hey, yeah, you're looking a little half. I saw a little bit of your boob. Uh, um Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading her manga at her desk. It's surprising Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me in the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. I please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologizing. You don't need to worry, have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I can tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we are just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I have already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I really, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, nightmare. Don't say those kinds of things so frantically. They make me a little... Pause. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. Listen, you back up, okay? Listen, my heart is for someone, and that's... In-game, in-game, it's Natsuki. In real life, it's this nice boy, okay? So, don't try anything, okay? I already have my heart sealed for two people in-universe, with one person and out-of-universe. So, don't try anything. But I can be your friend. I don't mind being a friend. I'm not going to dismiss it. You're a generally cool person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything has been a little bit brighter with you around then. Ah, uh, sorry. What am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, 
No, I haven't. I was kind of also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken back of how, how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, no, I haven't. Jeez, this is, isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just... I, I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything, th any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, uh, geez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was just it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're, just, you're the kind of person who worries too much about little things, aren't you? Yep, things are getting weird. What is going on? But, but, I'll accept your apology anyways, if it make, helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice hearing here since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. H hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry. I'm super late. I'm super sorry. I'm super late. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you lo so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lo just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would just have heard the heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but it, I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's, uh... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Nightmare. Monica smiles sweet. I'm getting creeped out. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I'm so uncomfortable. Is this how it feels to have a stalker? This is this is uncomfortable as fuck. I guess that's why I've been practicing some. Okay, I'm. Sh Can you stop? This is uncomfortable. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. I think she was just talking about you, dude. This is so uncomfortable. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really, no. I choose not to bring up what the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off the closet. Nightmare? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend the time together today. Oh, I mean, in the club. I suppose so. Ah, oh, damn it, I made that whole poem just for Natsuki! Oh. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After all, we just finished writing yesterday, so... Sh yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. No! Okay, Yuri, you're... 
you're not creepy like Monica, but you're being obsessed and like clingy. Uh, I mean, I don't mind clingy, but like, I'm not even, you're not my, you know, so it's kind of getting weird. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Okay, this is... This, okay, last time I felt uneasy, which I still do. Now I'm feeling uncomfortable. What's the story about anyway? Well... Look at the cover of the book. The book is t titled... Portrait of Markov. I am so uneasy right now. <sighs> There's an anonymous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have the trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. The factory gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting their, off their limbs and affixing them to. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. N not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? I'm so uncomfortable. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn kind of came from nowhere. Ah, uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Nightmare? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reluctant on the outside, but her mind seems to so, be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's kind of that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When the horrific or horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly, lee, 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 lee. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Why is the music... Why did it cut in and out? I'm... I'm so, I'm feeling so, un I, this is, I've never felt this way over a game. Probably because I don't play much horror games, which by the way, I forgot to mention this in the last video, but if you want, if y'all want to see a little Nightmares playthrough sometime, sometime, let me know, because that game is amazing, and I'd love to revisit it. For my channel, I've never played it on my channel, but I played it before, I'd love to go back and play it again. Anyways. <clears throat> Besides that, back to the game. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my old body, I kind of forget to pay attention to others. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. Uh, that's... well, that's true. In, in fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh! Mm. <sighs> Jesus. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight, aren't I? My name is Nightmare. Oh, God, I'm so... I'm so freaking on edge now. Yeah, yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book that I have put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if you, I sit here, right? I up a seat next to yours. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That, that's... I'm sorry. That's just that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. 
Uh, Alright. Yeah, from the book and start prologue. I soon understand what Miyori meant about reading in company. It's as if her, I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe I feel a little distracted, but feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she actually looking at actually looking at her book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry, I was just. I saw bathing. Oh God, this is so unsettling. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I I do. I don't really mean it. Sorry. I mean, uh, <laughs> here, this should work, right? I side my desk until it's against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of us. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean into it a little bit, her shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead of using, I use my right arm to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds holds the left side of the book between her thumbs and forefingers. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the page. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides her under her thumb and flip the, her side. Okay, why from this angle she kind of looks cute, but she's kind of... Listen, I like crazy characters, but she's just, like, I don't know what's with her. She's just, oh, I think it's, like, directed towards me, the character, because the uh, the character I'm playing is basically me. There's no, like, you can't see her, the character. So, yeah, I think that's why it's so unsettling. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It, it's as if I could feel the warmth of Fury's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a little distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. Oof. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. God damn it, why are you looking so cute? No, 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 no. Okay. I like Himiko from My Hero Academia. I like other crazy characters. This is no different. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. God, why is she actually so charming in a way? No, mm -mm. Natsuki. Y yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own, Aline. We continue the net first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels like an intimate exchange. Whoa, okay. My thumb gently lets go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches her with her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh -huh. Oh, God, don't do that face. Don't do that face. That's a little unsettling. N no, I don't relate to that char this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things and she says that all, and all that. Ah, uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. S sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get to that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> you ready? You feeling all right? Eh? Yuri has been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as she feels her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out. 
<sighs> okay. I think I know why I don't really like Yuri when I like crazy characters. It's because she cuts herself. I, I don't like that at all. That's, uh... <sighs> nope. What on earth was that about? Nightmare? Did something happen just now? Yeah? I have no idea. You was just acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no. Not really. That's me tapping my thigh. Oh, Monica reminds me of some... Oh, God, Monica reminds me of someone. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. I hate you. I was just making sure you that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Okay, okay. You are just creepy. You're just creepy. I don't like you. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just... I don't like you. I don't like you, Monica. I really don't like you. I don't, I'm sorry, like, listen, listen. I know people have their preferences, but how can you like a person who doesn't care about everyone around you? Like, with Natsuki, she's aware of how her dad is, and yet she doesn't even help her. Like, she gives her the bar, but that's it. She doesn't tell the police about it. She doesn't offer food, not, like, like nutritious food, nothing. Just a bar, just to get through the day. That is so fucked. I hate people who just, just hate, just see people as, yeah, this is honestly reminding me of my goddamn ex. Like, oh my god, I hate it. Is that okay? No. Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off the page, then I slip it into my bag. Natsuki. Natsuki's the only one in this room I trust. Natsuki, help me. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect to find your writing style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I know that you were spending more time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anyone. Not to kill. <laughs> Don't be like that, Natsuki. You're the only one I trust in this room. I got Monica being creepy and wanting to spend more time with me, which is understandable because I barely spend any time with her. That's understandable, but she's being creepy about it. And Yuri, she's being unsettling. So I'm sorry. Please don't make me hate you. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. It's over. Ugh. Nightmare? Why didn't you come? Read with me today. I wanted to not skip. Believe me. I did not see what that was. That creeped me out. I'm sorry, Natsuki. I wanted to. I was waiting for you. 
I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had look to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? No! No! <laughs> Not at all. No, I actually want to stay away from her. Matter of fact, can we stay together, you know? Like, really close, so I don't have to be around Monica or Yuri. I think you're better off not associating with her. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, Natsuki, I agree with you. I don't want to interact with her at all. Are you, are you listening to me? Yes, I am. Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Yes, okay? Yes, 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 yes. You don't hate me, Nightmare, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it, please. Oh, God. Oh, I'm taking the earmuff out. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh. I need a moment. I no longer feel safe. I feel so... I feel so... Uneasy. Hi again, Nightmare. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as uh, it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I get my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Nightmare. I was gonna... Go, I was going oh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, I always count when I put in some effort. I, for <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, that Yuri likes this kind of writing... Hold up. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 I did it perfectly. I only got like three wrong and only got three for Yuri. I got majority for Natsuki. Don't do this shit. This was not anything Yuri related. Shush. Writing that's full imagi imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting a place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so I don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets a little too stimulated, she'll end up withdrawing and looking for a long time. I am so get away from me. If I was in my, if I was in my M shoes, I'd be like, okay, you're creeping me out. I think I need to step away from you. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing poems with each other. Eh, already. I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm very glad. I'm more glad. That you took all the time you needed. Where's Natsuki? Is she dead? Did you kill the only person I feel comfortable around? Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. 
But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I honestly don't. I actually want to leave. Thank you very much. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. I don't want to be here. Oh, save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, be bright beautiful colors. Flashing, expandingly piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cataphonian of meaningless noise. The nose noise, it won't stop. Violently grant, granting, worming, squeak, squeaking, screeching, piercing, shine, causing tang it like playing a chalkboard on a turntable like playing knife on breath breathing ribcage endless pain of meaningless deleter mm, there is so much red flags the, there's so many red flags that could fill the room. I need to get out of here. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's my ranked tip of the day. Sometimes you'll end up find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anyway, anything? Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I don't want to. I don't want to share with Yuri. I want to go home. I don't like this. Ooh. Ooh. I don't. Because you wake up. I don't like this. Oh. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Supposedly, something happened. The code changed. I meant to draw, draw something. I have poem for Natsuki. But apparently, it ended up with uh, something for you. So you're welcome, I guess. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so uncomfortable. This is so uncomfortable. Uh, I mean... Turned out great. It's a uh, well. There are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that come out a little awkward. L let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. I don't want to read your poem. I want to go home. The protagonist is dumb. I want to go home and go back to being a nerd and watching anime and playing video games. I don't like how the music stopped. I'm getting so concerned. Oh, my. Do you need me to read all this? Wheel, a uh, rotating wheel, turning the axle, grinding, uh, boat, headlining, gearbox. I don't care if I miss this. A falling sky, seven hole stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick ro knot, a ton a harness, panicking gearbox, explosion. Expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cog wheels, existing of God, swimming in the open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a, pr a prayer written in time, dividing snakes with human eyes, a thread connected all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes, expanding gear boy, a sky of exploding stars, God dis proving the existence of God, a, f a wheel rotating in the six dimensions, faintly gears and ticking clocks, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of planet, a clock that ticks 40 times, every time it ticks, every second, a bolt head of holy stick tied of the existence of a dock ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devoting prayers connected to the sky of 14 gears and opening human eyes in all directions breathing gear boy breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portals breathing snakes breathing god breathing blood breathing holy sticks breathing human eyes breathing time breathing players breathing sky breathing wheel <sighs> 
It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hypocritic lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Oh my god. Uh, that is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and I am um, I just really like the way they write. So I wrote this poem with it and now you touched it. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. What did I just can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. Oh, I don't want to, but I really don't have a, oh, you, you are forcing me. Uh, yes, very nice, it's a nice poem, very nice. Oh, okay everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to do. Go over today if everyone can come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Yay, Nani Zatsuki, you're live! Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have something for the festival? It's not like we could put some together anything good in just a few days. What? fuck is that noise? We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. Did I just die? Did I just die? And the, everyone didn't care? I just, did I just die? I really, I don't really do well with last minute preparation. What is going on? My, this is so weird. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone has been a little more lively ever since Nightmare joined, and we started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to be become complacent. We still have only only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more. You know, what's so great about the getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everyone gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki? I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can to inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you, you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too, but I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. I'm honestly missing Sayuri. This doesn't feel like the club without her. Right, Nightmare? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Nightmare to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Nightmare joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Nightmare isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one here who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are just are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but you really should really consider our options for once. Monica is clearly taken back by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Nightmare want to get more members too. Right? Uh, I don't know about Yuri. But I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. So if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. 
Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Nightmare, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remembered, you weren't even given a choice not to join. He sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place to feel nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There ain't. There ain't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it from away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Nightmare. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If she wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for the little bit of time. Things were nice. Nuski starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out right out of the classroom. No, Natsuki, you left me in the room with two people I can't trust. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have any other uh, an option on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh, no! I hate you, Yuri. I hate you. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm gonna be blunt. I hate you. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you. Okay, I'm going home too. But still. I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Okay, no, no, no. I protagonist leave. Protagonist leave. Protagonist leave. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Nightmare? What do you want to get out of this club? repeats the same question as Monica. I decided to give her indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most most important thing is that for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Village Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in the members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. What? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay. I did not notice that. Her eye is bleeding. I've just noticed that. It's like dro droplets sometimes. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you want to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. You're not. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And I also a wonderful friend. Monica... I want to do everything I can to make this club the best e the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. I like it when y'all are like this, you know, calm, thinking about the club. I like that. I don't like when y'all talk about me and stuff like that. That's you keep it like that and I might start liking you. We'll talk about festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Nightmare? Um, 
Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Nightmare before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as the president. Yeah, it looks as a little trouble, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two, uh, the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri echoes the classroom. Phew, things have been a bit hectic today, lately, haven't they? Nightmare, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I, I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Oh, and I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and anything. No, no, I like Natsuki. I feel comfortable around her more than you. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean. But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've hoping, hoping to talk to you, uh, talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So wait, no, stop it. Does it even matter what poem I write? I think it's just gonna go to Yuri. Oh, I'm still gonna do Natsuki. Oh, no, I'm not clicking that. You can go fuck yourself. No, 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 no. Skirt. Ah, 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 No, 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 no. Puppy? Okay, okay, good. Hop. Ah. Color? Parfait. What? Well, I just noticed the thing. Huh? Rainbow. Uh oh. Uh. Games. Uh oh. Lipstick. Boop. Kitty. Uh. I'm scared. Fireworks. Fluffy. It's so fluffy. Silly. I'm scared. I'm getting so anxious. Oh, I did not want to come to the club room to see that phase. Oh, Yuri, no, no, no. Okay, I can't look at that. That's unsettling. That's ow. It's like she's staring into my soul in real life, and it's actually creepy. Okay. Hi, Nightmare. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? No, I actually want to go read with Natsuki. Sorry, I, I want to do that. I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you I'm not to... Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your instant yelling? Oh my god, you're, you're such... Shit. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basics or something. I was just really pay I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? L look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, 
Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins underneath the vending machine or something? What? Yo, yo, Ma Yuri. No, no, no. That's fucked. That actually is fucked up that you say that. Yours. Wow. Oh, yeah. No. You. Fuck you. Fuck you, Yuri. You're a piece of shit. You made Natsuki cry. Fuck you. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> Protagonist, why aren't you saying anything? You're so dumb. I would have scolded in her Yuri for that and not agreed with her. You have enough of a lot of determination. Starting this club and you're still trying to make time for piano. Maybe I'm not maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. What was that noise? Anyway, Nightmare, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. No, 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 no. There is no we. There is no we. There is me and Natsuki and comforting her. I what the fuck you said to her. No, there is no we. There's only me and Natsuki. Go fuck yourself. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Nightmare's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. No, 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 no. You kind of forced me into it. No, no, I'm actually going to read some pal fight girls with, you know, Natsuki. Aren't you glad our, I have already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just, actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh, get me away from this hoe! <laughs> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not- Dude, oh my god, this protagonist is so dumb. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time any here any better is a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow her and watch as she receives a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold for this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches me an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk. There's desk not, then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down at the teacher's thing. I simply watch her movement. To my surprise, the way she's more moving with contrast, her speaking mannerism, especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and melodical. Okay, may have I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well well walk with you. That that's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Oh, ten minutes passed. Yuri said she wouldn't take so long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored. Just waiting here. I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place to Yuri would go to the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> Should I even... Whatever. <sighs> That noise. It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Yeah. A sharp. Oh, sorry. Oh, is that how it is? Yep, there we go. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through her, their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Yuri, get the fuck away from me. I'm back. 
Thanks for waiting patiently. Nightmare, do you like Olong tea? Ah, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You reset the temperature on the kettle for 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. In that, that case, you'll only be more, even more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. You are so delusional. Yuri fetches the teacup and begins measuring the tea level. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah, uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, not the nightmare. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Nightmare, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have a back pain fairly regularly, so I do the best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunching over like this while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. It's because of your heavy titties, that's why. So that's why we must sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Retrieving the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. This bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since I go, it go, it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacup at our side, as if in sync. We assume that the ring position as last time. Each one, each holding one half of the book, except this time, what our bodies are even closer to each other. I, I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is a, was always kind of cute, but <coughs> oh no! When she's being less a, a peer, it's, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up positioning that makes it harder to focus. Because I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears an intense reading expression and can only presume the world around her is fading away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few read minutes, I finally manage to relax a little bit. I put a teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I feel like I had to go with the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the page. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold on to the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder of time reading it. As a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Oof. Alright. That's all I'm going to do today. Just in case I'm going to save very quickly. Oh, looks like all my saves are gone. Alright, anyways. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to try and get another video out tomorrow. Hopefully, we record and all that. And I hope you all enjoyed. Again, if y'all want to see a little Nightmares playthrough sometime. Probably not soon, but yeah, make me know. let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next one, guys. Peace.